And so when I came, I came with the vision that God had shown me about the situation. And so we went to work and the school opened. We had 15 students last year. We we're on a track to have 50 when it opens tomorrow. And how did the surrounding churches help you with that? Oh my goodness. Um, in our first year, although the state of Indiana does have scholarship programs that, that you can use in parochial settings, you had to meet certain qualifications and nobody who would have been in the school that first year would have met those qualifications. We had to build scholarships and the churches, our partner churches in the area, along with other churches who heard about what we were doing, they provided the money for those scholarships. In addition, uh, there was some work that had to be done on the building itself. The building had been a Lutheran school back in the 1950s and 60s. Well, of course, that's a long time ago. Uh, there have been changes to building codes. There have been changes in technology, all kinds of things that that building did not reflect. And so people came out and in partnership with the uh, congregants of our Savior Lutheran Church who owned the building, they modernized that building. They brought it up to the 21st century, got whiteboards in there, upgraded the electricity, uh, put in uh, internet and everything, and uh, uh, apparently in the 21st century, kids don't have lockers, little kids. They have cubby holes. So we had to get rid of all those lockers. It's amazing the things that we found in those lockers. Uh, I don't know if you remember the cartoon Hong Kong Fooey, but somebody had a Hong Kong Fooey lunchbox <laughs> and they forgot to take it home 40 odd years ago. <laughs>